My name is Sarah Knowles, and this is the story of my ex. Um, the relationship started out pretty well, you know. We did everything we were supposed to do. Um, he did what he was supposed to do, and then some. After about six months, we broke up for the first time because I caught him cheating with a cousin of mine. And um, I overlooked it because I'm a really forgiving person. Um, but a few times after that, he just continuously went out there and disrespected me. So after about two years, I decided to put an end to it, not knowing the boy was a psycho. One day I had a friend come over um, we were just chilling in the car and we were having a conversation and I keep hearing this loud breathing coming from in the back. So I was like, um, what's going on in the back there? And lo and behold, this nigga sitting up in the back seat of the car, just like eavesdropping on our conversation. So I know, I know we didn't reach a place, but I, I know things still have a few with that fella and you would just break up though. Sorry. Wait. Yo. What? What? You brought him out. What? What? How you get this man dropping your car? You brought him out. Who this nigga is? Who is that? I mean, how you get in the car? Who driving the car? How you get in my car? I'm driving the car, buddy. Sir, you never let me drive your car. Call the police, please. How the hell you grab this? Call the police, please. Wait, that's this one. Yes. I think you need. Please call the police. Sir. Come on, my sir. Sir, please. Please no, no. Um, while we were together, he never really paid mind to my neighbors or anything like that or hung around. But since we broke up like every day, he would just be sitting in the neighbor's grass directly in front of my door. Like he would line himself up in the grass right in front of my door so he could see when I come in and go in. That's really creepy. During our relationship, he was never really an emotional person. Um, I never saw him cry, but the night we broke up, oh my gosh, that's probably why he never let me see him cry because he's so ugly when he cried. Sarah, look at me, Sarah. Sarah, just tell me you Sarah. I think you need to leave. I need to what? You need, I need to go? What you mean? Come back tomorrow and pick up for work? What you mean, no? You off tomorrow? Just one more. I can't. I can't. Just, just, just finish. Just finish. Where did you make it over? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, 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 Um, you ain't watched the news yesterday. I did. I know I can smell bad on that day. You know I was a lousy nigga, so I don't know why you acting surprised. Showing the wife could be home that, that day, you see? So that ain't gonna work. I gotta get my hair to dry. Hold on. My dad said he remember you. My mommy calling me. Yeah, and when she called me, that was like cover the whole of February. I was in the kitchen, drinking Western oil. I still got the vac. I just got you a Christmas present. Don't be greedy. I have diarrhea. He ain't nobody home with the door crack. I got 99 problems. My mommy said I can't go outside. Oh, what time it is? I can't make it ready. Elections in 2017. Yeah, when your birthday just gone? You're too old for me. My son's supposed to be born that day, so I can't make no promises. Join my esophagus. It ain't feeling too good, Brad. I mean, if you could pick me up, then 
I mean, I, I ain't on the right. February 14th. My wife could be back on the island. My religion don't allow for me to celebrate St. Damien Ballon. My car ain't gone off, Dread. I got four different girlfriends. <sighs> Sorry, baby. Um, Robo Club coming out on that day. Hey, that restaurant I was supposed to take you to, uh, it actually closed down. And Thai Sack and Blue Mystic, wait, that, that going up. Hurricane's supposed to hit in July. We got a button up. I just had a kidney surgery, Dread. I gotta get my hair do, Dread. Christmas just gone, I still broke. New Year's just gone, I broke. January just gone, I broke. Christmas coming again, I broke. My baby need a new pair of shoes, socks, shirt, pampers, white, milk. So Friday the 14th, that's Jay Sadiq Day. My decision to like man by trying to take this nigga girl instead of trying to get my own. Ah! Oh.